him a lot. He lost a couple of days of work through hangovers this week already. What do you mean you're sleeping on the settee? Well, it's true. Del's in his room, right? And Raquel's in my old room. I thought Del Boy and her were living together. Well, yeah, they are. Sort of, but they ain't cohabiting. You know. Well, I mean, I ain't cohabiting a bit. But Del said, right, as soon as he's cracked the case, I can have my old room back. Rodney, let me give you some advice. I'm a lady's hairstylist and know intimately the working of the female mind. Yeah, cos he's a woof <laughs> You're serious, Mickey. I hate it when you do it to me, mother impersonation. Right. Rodney, why didn't you go home to Cassandra, eh? You had a nice flat, a good girl, and you've given it all up because of some stupid rag. Look, if she wants to phone me and apologise, then I might consider it. But she started it, so she got to phone me first, right? What you got to do, Rodney, is make Cassandra jealous. Yeah. Why? Make her think other women find you desirable. Yeah. Don't encourage Ronnie to tell her lies. No, that's true. I don't really like it. You don't really like it. Listen to me, Rodney. I always make a point of making women jealous. Girl. Only time you ever made women jealous was the night you won the last house at Bingo. <laughs> oh, it's you, Derek. Tell me, uh, how's you and Raquel getting on these days? Terrific. Thank you very much, Mickey. What the bleeding hell has got to do with you, I don't know. Just concerned. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna buy us a drink, Del? Yeah, yeah, all right. There you go. Give the lads a drink and all, will you? Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Three Coca-Colas. <laughs> Wouldn't he? What a word were you?